So, I don't know. I mean, the vagina is the vagina is actually engineered to stretch. Oh, okay. We're uh we're live. Oh. So, oh, we're live? We're <laughs> I yeah, I probably should have given a little warning. Oh, well. Like it's that. fine. Vagina talk number t 82. We were we were just talking about how skin stretches and retracts when you get fat and you get skinny and we were well, just wondering why like vaginas aren't the same way. Well, Jerry was talking about that that what is it? Beast to beast or what is it? What's oh, beast to beast. Oh, that beast guy to he's beast. my new he's my new hero online. Like I actually you're not my hero anymore. He is. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I don't want to be your hero. <laughs> I don't want to be your hero. You'll always be my hero sandwich, Jay. No. Oh. Anyway, he, he was talking about the, this old beast to beast guy and how, you know, he's he looks really really cut. But uh, he's got a lot of loose skin and stuff, and I was saying that I'm really fortunate that I really don't have a loose skin problem. And then, and then Jerry was like, "Well, my wife's vagina, you know, didn't like blah 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 after after I had Xander, after she had Xander or whatever." And I'm like, um, "The vagina is actually engineered to, you know, retract and." and but you know what I realized just after saying that statement? Your wife Sand had a C-section. <laughs> <laughs> so I caught it when you said it. I oh just oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> duh. Okay, well oh, that makes man. a lot of sense. But still, even even so, I mean, like women that give birth obviously don't come out the other side like passing watermelons every time they go to the bathroom. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> there is some retraction there. <laughs> and the chat went silent, says Chronic 40. <laughs> <laughs> and today on Tech Talk, we start. Uh, uh, anyway, that, I'm gonna, that's uh, got to be the weirdest starting <laughs> conversation ever of a Tech Talk ever. In the we've, history we've, talk. we've talked about it before, though, where we were like, you know, if you guys heard the conversations that took place before the streams actually started. Yeah. Uh, like, like Jerry just randomly goes, oh, my God, there's dry white stuff all over my desk. And he's like flaking it off. <laughs> I'm like picking it off on my fingernail. Don't worry. It was Greek yogurt. I think. Is that what we I call it? I didn't spell it. I was a little it was Greek's yogurt? It was Greek's yogurt. Yeah, it was Greek yogurt, Greek. if you know what I mean. Yogurt I the Greek the was Greek. hanging out. Hello. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tweet this out real quick. We are live. Number, oh, yeah. I should probably tweet this out, too, so people actually come and watch Number 82 it. or 81B. Your choice. Take, take whatever you want. All right. Yes. So let's see. Okay. Your so choice. grab this. Well, I'm I remember, going to the link. Okay. I remember last week we were having ISP problems, which cut us short at like 30 minutes. So. so, okay. No ISP problems because we don't have E3 going on today. Now, the reason why we're calling it uh, technically 81B is because we're going to reuse the topics we never got to last week. <laughs> we're pulling those right out of the hopper. Um, so before I roll that intro real quick, um, I just want to say I'm going to roll the intro. And then Jerry and I have decided that since, you know, you guys know since January, I've been doing the Go Team J thing, the weight loss thing. A lot of you a lot of you like it. Some of you don't. If you don't. That's a huge bitch. Sorry. Too, to too, too freaking bad. But Jerry's on board now. Is you're, going, you're in week two now, right? Uh, yeah. Technically, week, this is Week two of Go Team Barnacles. Yeah. Or go team. Is it go team Barnacles or go team Jerry? Uh, let's go go team Barnacles. Okay, go team. Barnacles is the fat one. Jerry's skinny on the inside. Barnacles is the fat one. Oh, so you're bringing out the Jerry. Yeah, it's like it's split personality. Jerry's the skinny inner personality, and Barnacles is the outspoken fat personality. Gotcha. There I you go. Gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. So, uh, no, I just figure we, we the start of each show, we just kind of do like a quick update on how our stuff is going because the public accountability is why, why it works for us. It's uh, true. And, and then we'll get into the topic. So I'm going to go ahead and row that intro eventually. It's so weird that I can't hear it. But it's going, though. Just be like, fatty's losing weight. Fatty's losing weight. Look at them fatties. Them fatties losing weight. That's a, that is a very insensitive term. Overweight people losing weight. Overweight people losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I drink, prefer though. gravitationally challenged. Gravitationally challenged. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Newton's friend. <laughs> all right. So, I mean, so, all right. So I've, I've been in a lifestyle change now for six months. I'm pretty well acclimated. How but are I'm not you following doing? you. Jay, I'm not following you, okay? That's I just fine. need to get that clear to everybody. I know everyone. Everyone I, seems. I, yeah. A lot of people think that like you're trying to like carbon copy what I'm doing. It, it, it's just, not going to work. It's not. No, we do completely different things. Jay gets on his little little bike and butters up his thighs and goes and rides like a hundred miles. Shammy butter. I sham. Uh, I, I, sh I need to get some of that, dude. I seriously ripped the skin I off both my thighs last time I walked up that hill. Well, my my thighs don't rub, but I I do use the shammy butter for other sensitive parts and sensitive regions. Hmm. I need to get some shammy butter. You can just go to a bike store. Have I tried butter. Aqua before and that didn't work out too well. You should use Gold Bond. Gold Bond? <laughs> I don't Feels know. I, gold Bond somehow makes me feel like I'm like elderly or something. If I have to slather on the Gold Bond, I'm, gold? Uh, I'm doing it wrong. No, Gold Bond Gold Bond's a powder. It's actually a, an athlete's foot powder, but it burns like crazy if you put it on like like chafing thighs. 
Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. I think I'll just I'll just stick with the butter. It Maybe works. real butter. I can't eat the real butter, but can I slather my thighs with it? But but go low fat. You gotta go margarine. Low flat. <laughs> low flat. <laughs> low flat I'm not margarine. In English today, but anyways, guys, my I'm I'm doing a diet. Everybody's like, you need to call it a lifestyle change. Fine, I'll fucking give in. Okay, it's a no, lifestyle. No, you know what? I got called out on that when I once said that I'm not on a diet. And if you look at the actual definition of diet, it simply means a list of foods that people eat. It doesn't mean you're limited to a specific list of foods. It's Fair. just whatever you consume is your diet. But to let you guys know, this is the thing: is everybody's like, you shouldn't eat like a rabbit. I agree. The first week, I took things a little too far. I've adjusted them for this week, and I'm still losing weight like like crazy. So what I'm doing now is I'm eating. I'm still eating a lot of meat, a lot of protein, low carbs. I'm trying to eat more fruit in the morning and lunch instead of at night. And at night, I'm focused on eating protein. And the cool thing is, though, is when I have a really bad craving, and I'm like, fuck this diet. I'm going to jump off the wagon. I'm done. And I've been there, like, I don't know, four times out of the last eight days. <laughs> but whenever I get to that point, I just go take a peach out of the fridge, cut it in half, sprinkle cinnamon on it, stick it in the oven and take it out, and it's literally the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. Like, I would pick it over ice cream. I saw that Instagram fo photo you did after my ride today. I was tempted to try it. I just haven't God, had a chance God, it's delicious, yet. dude. It's like, it's way better than you'd think it was. For some reason, when the peach gets really hot in the oven and it caramelizes a little bit, it changes yeah. the taste and the texture of it. So it tastes like you're almost like eating like an ice cream or something. It's smooth. Nice. So you're on the wagon still. You're going to have those yes. days where you're like, fuck this. But you know what? Those are the days. You, those days are going to happen. You're going to you're going to fail yourself a few times. Already but, have. But it's going to be how you respond to that failure that ultimately leads to your success. Not that you had the failure. It's how you responded yeah. to it. Well, so far, I've only had during my whole diet, I've only had the one cheat meal. So so that was good. That, and that cheat meal fucked me up bad. Like literally, I was sitting on the toilet trying to like yeah, yeah, that skin never would have recovered if anything came out. I mean, it was that bad. Yeah. And so now I'm back on the wagon. I've been eating good. But uh, the cravings are starting to go away. I still have them, but they're, they are going away because now it's like I like bananas. I love those salads. Uh, I started mixing up like yeah. you suggested and doing fish and meat instead of just meat. And it's it's all helped. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm getting there. And I weighed myself today at my lowest. I was 288.1. But I know I lost a lot of water weight because I was out walking in the sun today, sweating my balls off. Yeah. So I imagine I'll probably be up around probably like 291, 292. But still, that's down from 308 at my highest. If you, if you weigh fasted in the morning when you first wake up, Yep. And then you weigh again in, let's say, like 6 in the evening. You can kind of take the medium of those two numbers and figure out what your actual weight would be. That's what I need to do because in the morning, I'm everybody's like, you'd think you'd be your lightest in the morning, but you're not. Not always, no. I wake up and I take my weight in the morning. I'm like, fuck, where'd that pound come from? And then like eight hours later, I take my weight again and I'm like, three pounds disappear. And no, I'm you like, want to hear scale. No, you want to see something that messes with your head is I can, I can weigh before I go on, a, on like, let's say a 40-mile ride. Yeah. I can weigh before that ride. And then weigh after, and it could be upwards of five pounds difference in an hour. I can also reweigh oh, again. Oh, just from sweat? Or? Just, just from sweat and exertion. And then I can weigh again in two hours and be heavier than when I started. So you, you, the worst thing you could do is, is weigh yourself constantly. Keep that in mind. But um, I just want to give an update on Go Team J. You guys know at the weight loss competition at the gym, there was one week left. Um, final weigh-in is Tuesday the 30th. And for the, like... Last two and a half months, I've been chasing down first place, this, this, this girl in first place, and uh, weighed in on Tuesday, and then they upla updated the leaderboard. I am officially first place now, 15.05% uh, body weight loss, and she's at 13.58, and I still have another week to go, and I've already dropped two more pounds in the last three days. Did she last cry a little bit? I don't know. She's never there when I'm there. We come at two different times to do our weigh-ins. I bet you she is pissed. My trainer is her trainer, and he said that she hasn't come in since. Oh, she's probably like eating a bucket of ice cream now. She's or, like, it's all for naught. Jay beat me. No. Or, no, it's not over yet. It's one more week. So okay. she could be crash dieting right now. I'm expecting her to crash diet. So I'm putting in some serious like. <laughs> she, effort she's on all the just doing like prune juice chasers. <laughs> I know. I, I told know. you that's how the asshole beat me in the weight loss contest back at Microsoft. He'd literally just sit over in the corner of his little cubicle, chugging yeah. his prune juice all day, just going to the shitter like eight times. I'm like, dude, that doesn't count as weight loss. Yeah. But he did. He, well, he won. Last week was actually 8.2 pounds of, of actual weight because my water weight doesn't fluctuate like yours nearly as much. I have um, a lot more sodium probably in my diet than you do. That's one thing I haven't been watching is my sodium. Yeah, because I, I don't have high blood pressure or anything, so I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. It's all I, have, good. I have very little sodium. Uh, but yeah, I'm down sixty two and a half pounds, sixty two point eight pounds, something like that. In what I, period of time? Since I was at your place. 
God, dude, that's nuts. Yeah, so I'm at 247 right now. And my goal by Tuesday is to be at, at least 242. I want to lose another five this week. Did, so. did me torment you with pizza at PDX land? Like, like get, get your will all straight You know, I was, pretty, for when you I was pretty fresh in my lifestyle, <laughs> like food changes when I was down there. And you, you saw on my face it wasn't e- easy, but you also saw that I stuck with it. Yeah, it also I, made you feel like shit, too, after you ate a slice. Yeah, because I had you know, I, I had my cheat meal. I saved it for when I was down at your place that weekend. Yeah. And Cheese fucks with you if you don't eat it all the time? Uh, cheese is out like, of the diet. I, I went an entire week without eating any cheese for the first time. And you got to keep in mind, I mean, I put cheese on everything. Cheese on my eggs, cheese on my french fries, cheese, cheese on, on cheese. my burger, cheese on my cheese, cheese on my Cheetos. <laughs> no, but uh, it, it was so bad when I ate. I went and ate uh, nachos with cheese on them. And it was that, you know, oily cheese. Yeah. Oh, shit, dude. My guts were just like... Bruh! And that's like that's what I used to like feed my body every day, and it was fine with it. I just yeah. go have like a beautiful poop nap. I love how everybody's like a little tech talk. All we're doing is talking about like pooping and losing weight. But you know what though, people people care, and that's what they keep asking they us. So that's why we do these updates. Yeah, and um, we care about the people that care. If you don't care, yeah, you're a son of a bitch. Yeah, um, throw that out there, son of a bitch. I haven't had fast food in six months, so I don't even. Want, I wouldn't even want to think about what happens if I did. <laughs> <laughs> I had a I sausage had, biscuit, and I basically almost got like murdered by everybody online for it. So I haven't I've, been back since. I've had nothing but home cooked meals ever since I I, I changed, and uh, I've had a couple of nice restaurants that I've eaten out out at. Like for Father's Day, I took the whole family to a place called um, Paul Martin's, which is like a, a steakhouse. Okay. And they had a Father's Day brunch, and I had like mushroom egg white omelet, you know, with uh, spinach, asparagus, and and um, uh, fresh fruit. So I, like. That's not even really like eating out, you know what I mean? I know eating for a purpose instead of eating for sport is is boring sometimes. You have to get really creative. Yeah, just keep it interesting though. So anyway, um, yeah, guys. Now that we're we gonna... got rid of all the assholes that left because they don't care yeah. about us. Now the ones that care about us, let's give them some tech, Jay. No, we'll we'll spend the first ten minutes probably of every tech talk giving updates because I mean, shit, I'm surprised. Like, I guess I was on the front page of Reddit because of my weight loss thing. Uh, picture that I put up, and then it's it's still like on the first page of PC Mastery sub form, where uh, I guess a lot of people were like, "Wow, the, in, somebody who's into tech and fitness is really cool." And your your camera is like completely auto focusing like crazy. Is it really? Yeah, you drank your cup, and it focused on your cup, and then it focused on your <laughs> mic, and then it focused on you. This is what happens when you use a Microsoft product. Normally, I use a C920 Logitech, but no, this time I pick up the Microsoft webcam that thinks it knows focus better than me because Satya Nadell runs it now. Everyone not, keeps telling me I'm on the skinny side. How can I be skinny and 247 pounds? I'm, I'm because you're like 18 feet tall. Bro. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I, I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> I am Jay's two cents. That doesn't sound as cool as I, I thought did. it did. In my I head. didn't know that was Vin Diesel. <laughs> I didn't the first time I watched it, and then I was like, that has to be the best casting call ever. Like, imagine if you're Vin Diesel and you're just sitting there. It's like, dude, we're gonna pay you a million dollars. Here's your script. <laughs> I am Groot. We are Groot. That's Done. it. Done. <laughs> All done. <laughs> Drop the microphone, bitch. I'm out. Gets paid like like twenty five thousand dollars a word. Hey, I still didn't get your link to the doc, like the email. I sent it to you in the chat on on Skype. I can't take it in Skype because I have it uh, being captured right now. And if I do that, it uncapture. You wish you couldn't take it in Skype. All right, mm. hold on. Where, where do you want me to send it? Where do you want me to send it, Jay? Email it. I said email it. Did you forget to use email? Dang, really. Oh, really? Jer- guys, blame Jerry right now for not being able to move into the I am. Oh, he oh, should yeah. have told me he did not receive it, and he did not. That was very unprofessional of you, Jay. So everyone Jerry. asked about the Fury X. My video goes up tomorrow. Here's my Fury X right here. Um, I'm actually, this is mine it's to keep. It's a piece of shit. It's mine to keep. I'm not going to give any details. I'm just, I'm just saying it's a piece of shit, and I know nothing about it. Probably has an Intel processor in it. <laughs> Lol, see what I did there? <laughs> yeah, a <little> segue. <laughs> so um, anyway, guys, I, I, my video will be up tomorrow. I'm done recording with this for now. I'm going to be doing professional application tip benchmarks on this uh, to chest, test out that 8.6 teraflops. But actually, in the meantime, it's going to be heading over to Paul's hardware. I'm going to loan it to him because I'm really interested in his take on the matter. And I think you guys are, too. So I'm going to loan the card to him. So you guys can see uh, what he has to say about it. Dude, he's just going to sell it on eBay. You know that guy's shifty as shit. He's going to give me 10%. <laughs> oh, okay, then that's okay then. He's going to sell it and give me 10%. <laughs> he's your launder, hardware yeah. launder. All right, so we talked about the AT&T, or, uh, AT&T slapped with $100 million fine. They're, uh, they're appealing it. But you started to talk about Stephen Elop leaving Microsoft. Yeah, so anyways, everybody refers to this guy as the mole. So if you guys don't know, he was the CEO of Nokia during the acquisition of Nokia's mobile department by Microsoft. And 
there's a lot of evidence and proof out there to show that he actually had interaction with Microsoft long before the acquisition and that there was a huge conflict of interest. And they also, I think, gave him, what was it, a $25 million, Here, let me pull up the document. I think it was $25 million bonus. Bonus. Yeah, bonus. Yeah, it was $25 million bonus for him getting the Microsoft uh, and Nokia deal signed. So basically get Microsoft to acquire Nokia. So the CEO of Nokia gets a $25 million bonus from Microsoft for signing that deal. So that whole thing just reeked. I'm sorry, but any normal person on this planet could live off the interest on investments of $25 million as a one-time fee, never have to work again, nor would your family or your kin. Yet this guy gets it as a bonus. That's and just what, a bonus. And what yeah. happens in the end? Aren't they like shutting down the division slowly? Yes, so, so well, they're not shutting it down. What they're doing is they're downsizing because they're rolling the division into Windows. So Windows is now going to be the mobile platform, the desktop operating system, and the game console, all, all in one division. So basically they have three times the duplication and they're getting rid of all the duplication. But the thing is, they're saying that he's leaving, that, that Elon's basically leaving Wouldn't to you? Go pursue his career. No, but here's the funny thing is, is working at Microsoft, leaving never means leaving. Nobody ever... I don't know. Have you ever had they're, $25 million? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're, 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 they're basically asked to leave and part of them getting their severance package or whatever is they have to be nice on their oh, way out the door oh, and keep so morale they, boosted. Oh, I see, I see. So so, so I think Elon... There's no, was, there's no kicking, screaming, stomping. Exactly. I think mm -hmm. Elon... One of two things happened. These, this is all conspiracy theory, folks. But I think Elon was either redundant, so they decided just to kick him to the curb. And he was, I think, one of the original players to, to be the CEO. But he got beat out by uh, Sachin Adele. But anyways, I think he's either being pushed out or he's leaving to go try and head another company to be a mole again and try to acquire that company into Microsoft because he's already done it successfully once. So he's actually, so it's, it's like Microsoft denies all existence of this guy. It's kind of like a CIA agent. Exactly. You get caught, it's, you're on your own. Yeah, it's, it's, like, <laughs> it's like, here's what we're going to do. We're going to just let Elon go. He's going to go pursue his career at, let's say, a rival company. And then he's going to work his way up to CEO because he's got excellent credentials and all this. And then as soon as he becomes CEO, Microsoft's going to be like, hey, want another $25 million? And then Microsoft owns the company. It's going to be like, that, that, that's, I mean, that's the far, far I'm looking up the name of this like, guy that I, that I did a video on last year that was, uh, that, you know, what was his name? God, what was his name? Um, the guy who talked about the always-on DRM for Xbox One before it was launched, how he, you know, he... Oh, yeah, that guy how, put his foot in his mouth or whatever, and then he was, like, gone. Yeah, it, it, but they say that he had, you know, on his own recognizance, like, <laughs> resigned. Yeah. I think that's Just kind of you what you're talking know, about. I know, I know a lot of executives at Microsoft, like, personally, like, people that I would consider my friends, that have resigned their commission <laughs> to go either retire or do other things. And by resigned, it means the board was like, we need you gone. So we're going to give you like five million dollars if you just send out an email saying look, that you look, love I, us, keep morale like I, fine. I'll, I'll tell you right now. I worked for a large company back when I was like in my early 20s and I didn't have the greatest you work. You were in your early 20s once? Well, I was weird. I know it was a long time ago. So, OK, I wasn't the greatest at work ethic. And I mean, I was still like living at home and there's a spider in the corner of my window over there. I don't like spiders. Is it a black widow? That's I hate California. No, black the black widows, widows mostly stay outside in the shed. <laughs> they stay in the shed. <laughs> They're all that's, black. That's where shed. I have my black widow farm is in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, uh, I, I okay. So, to keep long story short. Um, I was called into the office one day where there were several bosses, my direct supervisor, their supervisor, and like the general manager of the company. And it was like, you know, please have a seat. And it was like, uh oh, I know where this is going. I'm about to get fired. And, it, and basically, it went like this there were two pieces of paper slid in front of me. One was your resignation, and one was your termination. You pick which one you're going to sign. One gives you dignity, and one doesn't. So that's basically the choice I was given. You can either resign or you can be fired. We wow. highly recommend that you resign. That's kind of the way the conversation went. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, actually, I think I was 19. I, was I think it's time. actually more beneficial to the companies if you choose the resignation path. Because if they fire you, then they have to deal with all the legalities of you attempting to get unemployment and all that stuff. And then them stepping in and having to... Oh, that was, the, that was the other thing, too. Because I, I did get fired. I don't want to say what, what I did for a, li for a living back then. Let's just say I drove a big truck. And I was told. Did you wear brown pants, Jay? Uh, they were purple. Oh, never mind then. 
Oh, <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was I was basically told that um, due to the negligence of my actions, should I pursue uh, unemployment, that it would be met with in court with you know evidence showing reasons why unemployment would not be beneficial. So ba- they had it all like well thought out. Let's just put it that way. But. Yeah, Dude, that's hardcore. Well, I'm pretty sure at Microsoft it goes similar to that, except for the difference is they don't put both options in front of you so much as one option has a stack of money on top of it. <laughs> right. They're like, this is the resignation path. And as you can see, it has a pile of thousand dollar bills on it. That's that's pretty much how it goes at Microsoft. Right. Yeah. Everyone's asking how old I am. I'm 34. So this was a long time ago. Wait a second, you're 34. We've gone over this like so many times. I didn't times. know you were younger than I am. We've gone over this. I don't know how many times. You look like 10 years older than me. How can you be younger than me? I was 10 years older than you. <laughs> well, you know, when you've got rosy cheeks and they're always shiny. Hey, you know what I noticed, though? Some of my gray hair is starting to go away a little bit. <laughs> I'm getting some color back, Jay. I don't feel bad for you because I've got like a billion gray hairs in my head. Okay, sir? Yeah, but you got enough of them that it, like when it blends with the other color, it just looks like you have like the sandy, awesome hair color. For me, I've got, it's just like, I got, like dark the fan- and gray, gray, gray. I've, I've kind of got like the Fantastic Four thing going on. Yes, you do. The doctor. Well, right. you know, if so I could get fired from guy. if I could get fired from Jay's Two Cents and take a $25,000 bonus, hell, I'd probably do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, long story short, Elon probably was fired is what happened, but in a way where he gets a lot of money and he gets to leave. And I would not even be the least bit surprised if we don't find out six months down the road that he's the CEO of another conflict of interest company that Microsoft. Micro to. hard. Micro hard. <laughs> that sounds like a website for never mind. Anyway, so if that like happens, porn, and you guys see it. Come and tell me because I want to know if my conspiracy turns midget, out to be midget porn. <laughs> oh, how, how, how far into Game of Thrones are you now? Okay, so now I think I'm almost at the very end of season four. Almost. Oh, okay, um, we're, we're I'm well. Basically they're attacking the wall. We don't give it anything for anybody. Oh, shit. Did I just. Well, they know eventually <laughs> it's going to happen, right? That wasn't really a spoiler. Uh, no, I. I uh, what? We're, we're halfway through season five. We're about to finish it off. So. I'm sad. I don't want to have to wait a year for everyone else to watch. I heard that Jon Snow show. guy's doing all right, though. I heard he's he's perfectly healthy and nothing nothing happened to him. Everybody's perfectly healthy in that show. No one dies. No one oh, gets did, mutilated. Did you see Did you see the meme? What is it? Uh, is it who's the writer on Game no, of Thrones? Like, no it's one. Like Gregory R R or something like that, yeah. or George R R or something. Anyways, I saw a meme that had a picture of Star Trek. It was everybody on Star Trek that meant any anything like Captain Kirk and Spock and Ohura, and they were all wearing red shirts. And it's like if if the guy if the guy who wrote Game of Thrones <laughs> wrote Star Trek. Yeah, because the guy in like, the red shirt always died. Anybody in Game of Thrones. Like nobody is safe. It was like it was like in uh, Space Quest. It's like I don't have a last name. I don't have a last name. <laughs> if you don't have a last name, you're gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> uh, no, uh, you know nobody gets mutilated. But I have decided I need my very own reek. You need, need a reek. Do I you? need a reek of my own. I could get so much done if I had a reek. I know, but taking their lopping off their twigs and berries is. That's how you keep them loyal. That's how you keep them. It seemed to work pretty well. He almost got his freaking sister killed. Oh my god! Spoilers! 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 This whole show spoilers. Uh, I regret bringing it up. I've Better covered. I, by the way, I've covered up the chat. By the <laughs> just oh, so you know. Because <laughs> at this Let's point, see, I heard that guy in Game of Thrones has sex with someone. Spoiler alert! Oh, R. R. Martin. Okay. I've also Game heard that the girls Martin. in Game of Thrones have sex with girls frequently too. Oh my god! That show. You know what? Is I always refer to Game of Thrones as HBO porn. Cause, cause I mean, it literally is like it, actually, it's more like it, soft core porn. But it's more like Showtime. Showtime's a little more known for, known for the soft core, in my opinion. That's true. Well, I remember growing up, like when I was just a lad. I used Stars to go over at to, night. I used to go over to my grandparents' house just because they had Cinemax, <laughs> and they were so old that they'd always go to sleep like at eight eight p.m. before anything came on in Cinemax. So they had no idea that Cinemax yeah. just ran like soft core porn all night. So I just go over there when I was like twelve years old and just watch porn till like two a.m. It was awesome. Everybody's like, "Why do you like to go go to see your grandma? Why why do you always stay over your grandma? Grandma, she's a like, nice lady. Like she's a nice lady, and she makes good good ass bread." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, it's like back in the day. Remember the the cable boxes with the scramblers? Yep. It was I like for uh, the Radio Shack parts list to make your own D scrambler. Yeah, it's like trying to look through the lines, and every now and then you think you saw a boob, but it's just a forehead with a pimple. Yeah, it's like, and then it would straighten out. And whenever it straightened out, it'd always be black and white too. And you'd be like, "Oh shit, I just saw something." But the audio was always clear. 
That's yeah. what I thought was funny is they'd scramble it like, oh, yeah, here, let's protect your children from it. But all you hear is, uh, uh, oh, my God. Uh. Your imagination sometimes is better than what's on screen, though. That's true. If Imagine if you're a blind kid. Like, if you're a blind kid, that's basically watching the porn channel. It is. <laughs> like, unrestricted access to the porn channel. For Alyssa, free. Alyssa Mage says, did Jerry jerk off at his grandparents? Ew. It is entirely <laughs> possible that that happened. Dozens of times. <laughs> your, your grandma's like <laughs> shampooing the carpet. There's a spot oh, just She's can't like, why, is the, why are the sheets always crunchy? <laughs> oh, God, we need to move on. <laughs> oh, like you weren't a 12 year old boy once. Come on, give it I a break. I was never 12. You're the one that already told me I was born a 3XL. We didn't have proper <laughs> internet back then, okay? But we, we had to get by with the skin of Max back then. It was like when you had 28 baud modem and the image is slowly coming in and you're like, God, I don't want to see your face. Just keep going down. And then yeah, it like know, freezes. Yeah, th th this is how you downloaded porn back in my day. ATDT phone number entered. <laughs> okay, initialize Z modem. Okay, a bunch of characters across the screen. Initialize transfer. Wait 24 hours, and then have like a naked picture of like. Do you do you remember like? Okay, so how do you rickroll someone today? You 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 put a you put a fake title. They click it, and then all of a sudden, you know, do 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 do. Yep. You're like back oh, then. I fell for it. Shit. Back then, it was the it was a normal female body down to right where the cleavage would be and then it's something totally nasty at, uh, below that so as the image is loading in you're like yeah 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 oh what the hell so you have to wait another 50 seconds or whatever for another picture to load dude i remember things. the first time that i experienced graphical internet so just so you guys know like predating you, you everybody takes graphical <laughs> young the young generation takes ASCII graphical porn internet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ASCII porn was never something I was interested in, but it did exist, and it was a real thing. It's but still before, a real thing. Have you ever been to Reddit? I, I've been to Reddit, but I haven't seen ASCII porn. I'm going to have to go check that out have now. Have you been to the comment section in YouTube? Yes. Have you been to the comment section of this live stream? Mm, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. Look, anyway. <laughs> this got porn. way off the rails. But, but anyways... Uh, God, what the hell was I just talking about? Now, now I'm all looking through the chat here. You were talking like, about um, like non-graphical. Oh, that's right. So, so before the graphical internet, where you had a web browser, you had a terminal program that was only capable of showing text and colored characters, <laughs> and that was how you experienced the internet. And if you wanted to download a picture, you would literally initiate a transfer, download it, exit out of your terminal program, open up your image viewing program, and then load the image. And that that's the watch one the look at one image. Now with the graphical internet, I remember, uh, was it Spyglass Mosaic was the first web browser I ever used. I remember Spyglass. It was graphic. Uh, before that, we all used Lynx, which was the text-based Linux equivalent. Uh, but anyways, I remember Spyglass Mosaic over 2400 baud modem. And it's like, you'd go to a web page, and it would start loading an image. And just like those BBS days, just be like, eh, eh. <laughs> I'm, that's what I was saying. The, when the image it loads, so slow. That's, yeah. what I was, that's what I was referring yep. to. The image is loading, and you think you got something good because the top third of the image looks normal, but then like, it, like they they Photoshop the image, so at the bottom, it's something completely nasty you wouldn't want to see. Like It's just completely yeah. Photoshopped. And it would take and, you a couple minutes to download it. Or... <laughs> I say we do a live stream of nothing but your mouth music. Just, just, just start up. Just be like. All right, here. Let me, uh, let me give you some vidya, some vidya. There's some vidya. There we all, go. All eight pixels came in, came clear, came in very nice and clear. Vidya. There we go. We got the vidya. Refreshing the stream. All right, and we're back, right? Are we back? Uh, should be. Are we back? 
It shows it's online for me. Is it working? Does it say online? All right. What's going on, guys? All right. So you had some other stuff on here that you wanted to talk about. I do. But I'm wondering how much of that you still want to talk about, or if you want to, t- if you want to talk about the um, two things that I had, the two things I wanted to mention. Let's talk uh, about your shit. Here, we'll we'll leave these for the last if we have time. Let's talk about your stuff. Okay, well, one of them you brought up, and I agreed. Um, and, <laughs> and the Intel processor. Ah, and the yeah. Andy getting somewhat called out, but then <sighs> them slowly defending their use of the of an Intel i7 4790K in that tiny PC they showed at E3. And just to be absolutely clear, everybody called me out like, oh, man, that's such clickbait. AMD didn't try. You know, AMD knew exactly what they were doing. They weren't hiding anything. I understand that. I completely understand that, but still, you should never use your competitor's product. You just, unless, there, there are some unlesses, like if they make something different than what you make, but in this case, AMD and Intel are direct competitors at the CPU level. It'd be like Lamborghini putting a Ferrari engine in one of their cars because it was a better engine. But, but is AMD trying to get into the system integration game or what? 